Next thing we'll be going over is esters. Esters uh, end in suffix annoyed. Um, an example of an ester would be something like this. Which is a combination of a this the nester forms from a combination of a carboxylic acid and an alcohol. But the OH from the alcohol and the hydrogen right in here from the carboxylic acid uh, make water as a product and then you have an ester. So this is an example of an ester. This is part from the alcohol. And this is from the carboxylic carboxylic acid. Um, so when when naming an ester, you always name it with the alcohol part first, and you just use the amount of carbons in that alcohol. So the beginning is propyl because there's three carbons in the alcohol. And then, in the, another word, the next word is from the carboxylic acid. There is four carbons in this chain. So that means it has a butte prefix. And then it ends in the anoate, as in for all esters. So this is butte anoate. So this ester is an example of propyl butanoate.